Our focus this week is with the 50 teachers that we have is on EdTech integration. The first three days were spent with teachers learning how to use new EdTech tools or tools that were already familiar with them such as Google Jamboard and Google Forms. And so far they've created over 100 activities using those tools that will be made openly available to all teachers. Now we're in the second half of this training week in which they're thinking about how do they actually implement these activities and these tools strategically with their students. And so today, we're thinking about in their subject areas, what types of routines do they do with students on a regular basis, um, on a, uh, even without technology. And now they're actually working in small groups to consider how could those routines be made more effective using educational technology. Having attended the EdTech training session this week has been a great learning experience for me. Um, as a teacher, um, generally we are being told of tools and resources that we can use in the classroom, that we can implement in the classroom. However, being at this workshop, we were not just told what the resources are or the tools are, we were actually taught how to use it, how to implement it in our various subject areas because it would be different how you use it in math would be different from how you use it in social studies. So we were taught specifically how to use it in our various subject areas. For example, um, Jamboard. I have been using Jamboard for a while. However, attending the workshop, I learned so many new ways that I could use it in my classroom, um, which will make me a more effective teacher, which will make the teaching and learning process um, more fun and interactive for the students. It's quite a lot of things that I've learned this, this week, including using Microsoft Forms, um, Jamboard, um, Mentimeter, Padlet. Uh, we are not only introduced to those different forms of technology, but also how to use them. And we also came up with our own forms of these um, forms, um, Padlet, and these different things that we were taught during, during, during the week. Technology is an ever-evolving field, and so most, uh, most times educators try to find innovative and interesting ways to try to enhance learning for the students or how to integrate that technology back into the classroom. And so this project this week gave us a little insight to more edtech tools that we can use in our classrooms. And I think this week I learned a lot. I feel as an IT teacher, most times we are the first ones who integrate or look for the new technology to integrate into the classroom. But I found that this week I learned so many other tools that are in existence that I have not even been using as yet. We have gotten a lot more ways in which we can use these tools within the classroom um, for various um, activities other than just minimal assessments. So um, also the framework that we have been taught in planning for using these tools in the classroom is very essential in what we're going to do moving forward. For our lessons, we want to ensure that we know exactly what we're going to do with our students beforehand instead of just experimenting in the classroom. So this framework really helps us plan out what we are supposed to do and how we're going to use it so that when we get into the classroom, it is a seamless transition from our instruction to our students. In addition to that, we were not just taught how to use the tools, we actually had to curate our own resources, which means that when I leave the workshop, I will have a number of resources that I could include in my classroom. And also we, will, um, we are to share the resources with other teachers, which means I'm not only going to have access to my resources, but resources that other teachers have created, which will be great. So overall, the experience here has been great. It has been wonderful. I have learned a lot and I am ready to go back to my classroom, ready to go back to my school to share with my colleagues what I have learned, how they could use these resources to make the teaching and learning experience more effective and of course more fun and interactive for the students. As a math teacher, math is very ab abstract and when we use these kind of forms of technology, it tends to take out that abstract um, um, from, from our maths here. So we make it a little more graphical, a graphical representation for our math students and I'm looking forward to going back to my school to actually pass on that information to my peers. And one of those that I liked the most was the Jamboard. Um, and it was just this interesting tool that you could use in your classroom where you could get all of the children on board in terms of putting together a vocabulary list and finding definitions and being able to work with the technology and still learning as well. 
And so I'm excited to go back into the classroom next term and implement some of these tools that I've learned this um, project as well as to see how I can support my colleagues in learning as well for the new EdTech tools. Through the activities that they've been doing all week, they're designing an action plan for themselves for the upcoming school year on things that they will do, routines they will do on a regular basis, and the explicit digital skills instruction that they will be integrating as part of those routines so that they're better preparing students for the digital skills that they need for future work and life.